I'm on the countertop. He had me by the neck. And he felt like he was on top of me. And I'm, lo I, I'm looking at him in his eyes. And I don't see him anymore. I don't see him anymore. It wasn't him. It was black. I've never been so scared in my life. It was, it was black. I couldn't see him. And he was looking at me, and I was trying to get through to him. I was trying to say to him in some way that it was me. I was trying to get through to Johnny. And I couldn't see him. I couldn't see him at all. And it, my head was bashing against the back of the bar, and I couldn't breathe. You've got a person who is uh, throwing multiple shots at your at your face at your head at your neck at your at anything she could hit so i i got up out of bed i sat her down on the bed <clears throat> and i said i'm leaving please don't get off the bed please don't follow me and she got up off the bed and she squared off at me in the doorway of our bedroom and I said what do you what do you want to do hit me again would you like to hit me again Bam. and then I just said did that is that what you wanted and I remember trying to get up and I was slipping on the glass my feet were slipping my arms were slipping on the countertop and I remember just trying to get up so I could breathe so I could tell him that he was really hurting me I didn't think he knew what he was doing I don't know how <laughs> sorry I'm sorry. I mean, I couldn't breathe. Please. I don't know. Please, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I couldn't. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't get through to him. I couldn't. I couldn't get up. I couldn't get up. And I don't know how that ended. I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know what happened next. I don't know how to do this. I, I, Would you like another? Bam. And I said, good, now you're done. Grabbed her by the shoulders, walked her to the bed, sat her down and said, don't follow me, leave me alone, I'm out, I'm gone. And it became clear to me he was like looking for something. He um, cleared things off the bed. I went into the bathroom and as I come out, um, he's a he asked me where it is. Like, what, what am I, where am I gonna, what am I hiding and where am I gonna hide it? He ripped my dress, the uh, strap top part of my dress. I had just dyed this thing um, myself, pink. And I, it's just one of those things I, I was like, you know, that's my, I just finished that dress. And um, he's like grabbing my, my, my breasts, he's touching my thighs, um, he rips my underwear off. Um, and then he, he, he proceeds to do a cavity search. Huffed off. I, I let her go. She huffed away and she was gone for about seven or eight minutes. And then when she came back, I was in the, I was, then I was in the bedroom of penthouse three, our bedroom. 
And she came back about seven or eight minutes later, and she had a Kleenex or a tissue to her nose. And, um, and she, then she pulled it away from her nose and she showed it to me. And there was red. It was indeed like red color on the, on the tissue. But me, I know that there was no connection to her nose. N no part of my body made connection to her nose or eyes or anything like that. So she said, uh, she took it away and she showed it to me. She said, way to go, Johnny, you broke my nose. You broke my nose. And I knew I hadn't. So I said, in, you go into sort of placation mode, which is, oh my God, let me see. Are you okay? What happened? Let me, let me see. And she wouldn't let me see anything. And so, I just tried to calm the situation as best I could. He was looking, he said he was looking for his drugs, his cocaine, his coke. I was wondering how I, somebody who didn't do cocaine and was against it, that was in and of itself causing problems in our relationship. How could I hide, why would I hide his drugs from like, uh, like he was insinuating that I was doing it or something. It made no sense. And he was telling me we're doing, we're gonna, we're gonna conduct a cavity search, shall we? <sighs> like, just shoved his fingers inside me. Um, all the while, I was waiting for her. Um, to dispense with that Kleenex because I didn't trust it. And so I waited and went. She dropped it into the wastebasket in her bathroom, <clears throat> or in our bathroom, and uh, left the room. Went somewhere downstairs, I think, I don't know. And then I pulled the Kleenex out of the, out of the trash uh, bin and I inspected it pretty closely and realized that it was nail polish. It was nail varnish or polish. 